Welcome back to the channel. Now today we have travelled from Manchester to Whitby. Now this isn't just for a holiday, this is a quest to locate, capture and hopefully contain Count Dracula. If you've never heard of Count Dracula, he is, he's notorious up in these parts. He is a cross-dressing vampire. There's been many iterations of vampires over the years. Kiefer Sutherland in Lost Boys, Tom Cruise interview with a vampire, Nosferito, Robert Patterson, is he, in Twilight? But none of those are quite like Count Dracula. Now, there is some pedigree to this, but my great, 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 great cousin from Poland, Mikro, picture of him up here, Mikro Van Helsing, was part of the Van Helsing family, which are the most notorious vampire slayers out there. It's in, it's in my bloodline, obviously it's not in your bloodline, is it? It's not. I mean, we can't all be cool vampire slayers. So stick with us, because this could get scary. It could end up nothing. Yeah, we're heading up to the Abbey Headland. And this is where I found a park up on Park for Night, close to the Abbey. I think it's nine pound overnight, which I know isn't you know, it's not free, but that's, that's reasonable. Nine pound for 24 hours. Yeah, these are all staying here overnight. Might be a vampire hunter convention. This is close enough to the Abbey. We've got- And the beers. You what? And the beers. Co Alison, this is, we're, we're not here for the beers. We're here to here hunt we vampires. We can't, I, we can't get inebriated and fight a vampire. We need our wits about us. Right, we've been here like 30 seconds and already we've seen evidence blood blood spatter it's already worse than i thought might not be on our own tonight though might be in the company of other vampire slayers this is it behind me i don't know if you can see it that is the birthplace of count dracula did you hear that then that shriek, it was either a wheel spin or the ghost of a horse. This is what scares me. This is like people are just so unaware of the surroundings. You're next to one of the most dangerous places on earth and just having a beer. Like, are you people crazy? All right, we're getting close now. I can feel, I get a, like a spidey sense when we're getting close to vampire burial grounds. Yeah, I've got the uh, vampire senses going off now. 12 pound 50 each. I know, I don't need to go in really, because obviously I'll be in probably late tonight when they've gone from there. I'll get in for free looking for vampires they don't use a charger if you're a vampire slayer but i've not brought my id with me oh my god it stinks up here doesn't it that's why polish horses then vampire horses oh they are the steps yeah. <laughs> i would have walked through the church as well this is how they used to do it in the vampire slaying days, walking down steep bits like this. Oh yeah, flip flops. Well maybe they didn't wear flip flops in vampire slaying days. This might be a good stall for vampire killing stuff. <laughs> what I've noticed as well about Whitby so far is there's a lot of people who look like they could be vampires or descendants of vampires. Danger is literally lurking around any corner around here look ad 1654 that says curiosity shop there's no one alive from 18 1654 now so that's obviously a vampire shop basically we're looking for a vampire who's around six foot four white face sharp teeth high heels probably maybe even lipstick not seeing anything matching that description yet. It smells of arse as well, which is a 
smells smell of egg eggy ass is a good sign of vampires you haven't seen um like a six foot four fella high heels on lipstick white face sharp teeth have you You've heard of him then? Oh yeah, he always gives me a good old kiss, doesn't he? Oh my god, is he? Oh my god, there we have confirmation, actual confirmation that he's here. That is probably the scariest moment that I've had so far. That woman just confirmed that he's here. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty scared now. I'm not looking forward to when when the sun goes down. I'm not looking forward to that one bit. One thing you've got to do in Whitby is have a picture under the mammoth tusks. That's some weird. Take a picture of me under the mammoth tusks, please. I can't believe these are off a mammoth. It's crazy. Mammoth. This is a guy who um, invented fish fingers, Alison. I think he is anyway. Right, we've got one lead so far on Count Dragula, which was that woman who said that she's seeing him and he hugs her. Oh, yeah, he always gives me a good She's just dead nonchalant. Like she's hugging a verified killer. So we're going to have a rest here for a few minutes. We're going to take in the uh, views and the history of Captain. James T. Cook, who invented fish fingers, and then we'll walk down into what I would consider like the viper's nest of vampire activity. Also, um, those bones there, I've just found out, I've been talk saying that they're mammoth bones, and they've, um, did not. They're off a whale. I've been telling everyone the mammoth bones. More concerned about seagulls than vampires. That's an obvious vampire shot. Well, there's an actual picture of a vampire. And spiders and bats. There was, um, there was a lot of vampire memorabilia in that shop, but nothing actual indicating like a location of a vampire. So the hunt's still on. Well, this is actually Dracula, not Dracula. I've been on a vampire hunt all day. It's not that, you just can't do it with dogs. No, I understand. Um, yeah, I was just like I say, I've been on a bit of a vampire hunt trying to get as much vampire activity in. Yeah, I've been looking for Count Dracula, but obviously can't bring dogs in, then I can't. Alright, no worries. All right, sorry, I can't I, help you. It's alright, I'll keep looking. Thank you. Right. Just went into the Dracula, Count Dracula um, experience then and he, he won't let me in. He's obviously protecting him. Are they Nazi knives? Yes. Oh my god, they're well cool. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. A bit niche, but that's mad. That dagger there. Yeah. Do you reckon any of these have been used to hunt vampires? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That's what I'm. That's that's the thing. I'm I'm on I'm on the hunt for a vampire today myself. Count Dracula. Yeah. Give it, give it a few weeks and they'll all be in town. I think I'm a bit premature for it, aren't I, really? Just had confirmation we're a little bit early for Count Dracula. Oh, yeah, I just said to him then, do you reckon any of this stuff has been used to hunt vampires or Count Dracula? And he was like, come up, you're a little bit early. Shit. You see, my plan was to get here early to beat the vampire slayer rush. But obviously, I've not done that. I've come too early. And that's... Probably not the first time I'm ever going to say that sentence. Jesus Christ, this is not turning out well. I've come down here because I've heard rumours about Count Dracula. Yeah, a cross-dressing vampire, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the lookout. I'm on the lookout for him. I know. That'll do. They didn't have any garlic. So I had garlic bread. Do you think that'll work? 
brilliant. What are we going to do now? I can't believe a shop doesn't sell garlic in like a town where it's full of vampires. There was no steaks either, just rump steaks. Can't get one of them. What a joke. So far we've searched high and low for Count Dragula and we've not seen any signs of him. Everyone's trying to put us off the scent. It's quite frustrating, if I'm totally honest. We even went to a car show and they had no signs of him. Count Dragula loves fancy cars. It's like his MO. So we're just going to have to carry on looking and see if we find any more signs of him. We've decided to come and have an alcoholic beverage just to take the edge off. I'm going to go with Alison's theory. If we get the more inebriated we get, the more likely we are to find him. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get a drink. Yeah, we've had a pint. The vampire hunt is back on now. We're re-energised, reinvigorated, and re-angry. We're gonna go and find him. Count Dragula, your ass is grass. Oh my God, it's freezing. Right, so we decided that we would get food and take it back to cook it at the van, haven't we? Yes. Rather than buy pizza. My vote was pizza. But let's get back to the Abbey. See if we can see Dragula. Oh my god. Back to the van. Ridge monkey sausages. Because they were supposed to be barbecued, but obviously Alison hadn't cleaned the barbecue. No. Are you joking? What? Alison didn't clean the barbecue. Well, I hadn't used it. I fucking fed you on it. That is aggressive. So later on tonight, when we've had something to eat, we are going to go and make our way to the Abbey. This is the last chance we've got of finding Count Dragula in action. None of the locals have given up his identity or anything. I think people are harbouring this vampire. When it's dark, we're going to go back over to the Abbey and we're going to find Count Dragula once and for all. Hot dog, jumping frog, Albuquerque. <laughs> oh. And they're hot. Yeah, they're hot. Well hot. Can't beat hot dogs. You just can't. Well, there's things that are up there with them. There's like certain foods that are all on par with each other. It's like bacon butties, hot dogs, burgers, pizzas, kebabs. Yeah, that was wicked. And it's nearly dark, so we're going to eat these and then go and see if we can see Count Dracula. Right, as promised, we're going back to the Abbey now, it's dark. There's absolutely loads of van lifers on here, so at least if anything does go down, we're not on our own, are we? Oh, I forgot the garlic bread. I scream, no nothing, it just fits. So if you hear that, it means I've gone. Yeah, now it's dark, it's like a shark in the sea. Dragula now, we're on his, we're on his turf, we're on his territory in the dark, so we've got to be, have our wits about us. Which, by the way, is why I think Whitby's called Whitby. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> what? This is where he's going to be, if anything. Is someone prepared for this? If we do see him, I want some. Fuck. What? What is... That's a bat. It's actually a bat. That's probably him. 1792. <laughs> The thing is, with that, I'm not worried about him being a vampire because he's been dead like 300, 400 years, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about him. Dracula! Come out! It's me! I am a great, 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 great cousin of Mikro Van Helsing. Show yourself. Where are you? It's a non starter. I think Dracula knows. He can probably sense a Van Helsing or a Van Helsing descendant, just like I can sense him. I'm sorry about this. I imagine this is uh, an anticlimax because you probably wanted to see two warriors in head to head combat. You haven't seen a tall fella, have you? Like white face, sharp teeth. Yeah, got yeah. high heels on. Went that way. That way. Oh, we yeah. didn't see the heels, 
Yeah, it's Count Dracula. Um, <laughs> so we, we're kind of on an expedition trying to find him on a quest. Oh, but yeah. thank you. But just be, be careful though, like, you know, cover your necks. I'll run a different way. Good luck. I also stopped reading scary tombstones. It doesn't fascinate me. It's got the bejesus out of it. What the fuck is that? I have a blood bank. That's, I did not leave that there. Get in the van quick. That's probably Dracula. Get in the van. Are you joking me? You can't be needing a wee now, Alison. Dracula's, obviously Dracula is about. Are you mental? You're gonna have to. Right, well, I'm getting in the van. I'm getting in the van. I'll see you in the morning. I don't know if someone was playing a funny prank here. But that Dragula that was left on the top of the van, it's not funny. I just hope now we make it through the night because it's obvious that Dragula knows our location, he knows what van we're in, he knows everything. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew here and I'm just going to keep my head down tonight, going to get to sleep and then first thing in the morning I am out of here. I'm done. Are you done? I'm done. It's too scary. We survived. Dragula did not... He missed his opportunity, really. He did not attack in the middle of the night. And, uh, yeah, left us alone. So I think it just means we were both wary of each other as, as, a, as a foe. I think it's time to get up and make a brew. We've not got any breakfast sorted. So we're going to have to go out for breakfast. But I think we could maybe... Soft bakes. Yeah, we've got soft bakes, but a soft bake is just a pre-breakfast. So if you notice there's a bit of a change of location, it's because when we woke up and opened the back of the van, we noticed there was um, a gentleman there in a bivvy on a cot, piss wet through, um, trying to sleep. And we think it is the same fella that we saw last night walking back from the uh, microbrewery, I'm not sure if I caught it on camera, where he was particularly inebriated and asked us if we saw a girl to get in contact with him and then left us no contact details. So we uh, decided to get up and move away from the area. He was piss wet through. I don't know how he slept last night, just in a cot and a sleeping bag. But he's going to suffer with a big hangover today. So we thought we'd move over here anyway. Bone apple tea. Have you got, what is this? Bailey's latte. How can I say it tastes a bit? Bailey's in October. Bailey's is December. Also, Count Dragula's gone from the top of the van. I don't know if that was some sick joke or that was actually a Count Dragula calling card. But either way, he's disappeared. So he's either grown back into full form, six foot four, and got his heels back on, or it was a sick joke, but it's disappeared. Right, well, we're going home now. It's, uh, it's been a lost cause trying to find Dracula. But, you know, this isn't, this isn't our only attempt. You know, we can come back here and we can try again. Because I'm sure one day, Dragula will meet his match in me. But it was actually a decent camp out, actually. And I wouldn't say it was a stealth camp, really, because, once again, we weren't very stealthy, were we? And there were so many vans parked on that car park. Nine quid, Whitby Abbey. There was toilets, facilities, I think someone was even having a shower this morning. I don't know if, if there was showers, but he was piss wet through. I don't know what happened if he wasn't having a shower, to be fair. There's something weird going on. But the, the toilets were nice enough, I think it was like 40p or something like that. 
right next to the Abbey. And I think from next week, on the 21st of October to the 31st of October, they light up the Abbey for that full 10 days. So that'd be pretty cool to go then. Maybe we'll have another pop at getting Count Dragula then. So the next video you will probably see me on will be the Man Van Tribe, because that's where I'm off next weekend. Off to Man Van Tribe. There's about five or six caddies going watch out for that video because that should be a top weekend really looking forward to it so i'll see you there bye everyone's been saying that they missed that so we'll put that back in for them see you later